Hi there, I'm Glenn Burgess, an exercise referral and cardiac rehabilitation instructor and personal trainer from Ken. I work with clients referred by GPs, physiotherapists and other health professionals to help improve their health, fitness and well-being. In this video I'm going to run through the warm-up I use in my exercise referral and cardiac rehab classes. So I use this video as a warm-up to my other circuit class videos or on its own as a short gentle workout to help loosen yourself up. So before we start, just want to run through a few health and safety points. So if you're feeling unwell at all, then please leave this workout until you're feeling better. Make sure your workout area is free of obstructions, is well ventilated and not too warm, and rest whenever you need to and work at your own level. So let's begin. So, okay, so I'm just going to start by marching on the spot. Okay, so what we're going to do, the importance of a warm up is just to get yourself ready to exercise, help loosen up all the joints, mobilize all the joints, and get you ready to work. So in our classes, we do a gradual warm up. So it starts quite low intensity and builds up gradually. And that basically just gets the heart ready to exercise as well. So it opens all the arteries um, and makes it better to go. Okay, right, so we're going to start with some heel digs. And we're going to tap out to the side. And we're going to tap back behind. So as you can see, the first stage of this warm-up is just with the legs. And that's just going to start just to bring the heart rate up a bit. And bring the knees up in front. So work at your own level, bringing your knees up as high as you're comfortable with. So if you're only comfortable with quite low knees, start low, or you can bring them up higher and improve the mobility in the hips. March it out. Okay, so we're going to do the first of our mobility exercises now. So just standing hip width apart, just keeping your toes really in just to keep your blood circulating. And we're just going to just come down, reaching down your side, come back to the centre, and down the other way. And keep that going. And one more time. Right, and march it out. Good. Okay, again, we're going to stand hip width apart. Just feet, toes wriggling. And we're just going to come twisting around. 
on the side. It's just loosen up the lower back. Right, one more time. March it out. Okay, good. Right, so round two, we're going to start introducing the arms as well. Okay, so this time we're going to tap the toes in front and then have a bicep curl with both arms. Right, tap to the side. And I'm going to bring the arms up to the sides. So just bringing the hands up, level your shoulders. Tapping back behind. And gonna add a chest press with the arms. And bring the knees up in front again. And march it out. All right, excellent. Okay, so what we're going to do now, balance on one foot, we're going to just tap a heel and a toe in the same spot. So it's going to work on your balance, but also mobilizing the knee and ankle joints. And change the other leg. And march it out. Okay, so we're rolling the wrists through. And the other way. Okay, right, so back into heel digs again. So we're gonna test your coordination a little bit now as well, get you thinking a bit more. So we're gonna bicep curl, same arm and leg together. And both arms. And 
and the opposite arm and leg. Don't worry if you got it wrong, just keep yourself moving, any arm and leg will do. But keep trying, keep working on it. Right, so tapping out to the side. And so again, we're going to bring the same arm up, the same arm and leg together. Bring both arms together now. And the opposite arm and leg. So hopefully you're starting to feel a little bit warmer than when we started. Um, Right, and bringing the knee up to the opposite hand. So adding a small twist at the waist. And march it out. Okay, so I'm just going to do a few stretches now, and then you'll be able to ready to move on to your workout. Okay, so take one arm up and reaching down the back. Give it a gentle push, and you should feel this down back of the arm. And the other arm. Keeping your toes moving, that just keeps the blood returning back to the heart. Right, okay, so cuffing the hands together, hope out across the upper back. So, almost like you're trying to reach around a big tree and give it a big hug. So, you're trying to separate the shoulder blades and stretch across the upper back. Right, taking those arms around behind. So trying to bring the elbows close together. And then this is stretching for your chest. So try to squeeze the elbows as close as you can. And right your shoulders. And both directions. Right, so moving on to the legs. So we're going to take one leg behind, both feet forward, back leg straight, front leg bent, and you'll feel this in your calf muscle, so of the back leg. Okay, and change the other leg. Good, and come on up. So this time we're taking the leg up in front, so both legs, feet forward again, and front leg straight this time, and you're just sitting back, and bending from the hips, and you should feel this down the back of the hamstring, and the top of the calf. And if you want to feel it a little bit more, if you pull your toes up towards you, And change the other leg. So front leg straight, 
Pivot in from the hips, sitting back and bring the toes up. So you feel it a little bit more. Okay, good, right. So coming up. So this one, if you can, what you're trying to do is bring your heel up to your bottom. Try and bring your knees together and push your hips forward. And you'll feel that in the front of the thigh, in the quad. And change the other leg. And bring it down. Right, so hopefully you're nice and warm, loosened up, and you're ready for your workout. Okay, so select one of my other videos, and away we go. See you again soon.